Hello everyone and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make every single alchemy potion at once. So to get started all alchemy potions need bottled water. You can get bottled water by uh, taking an empty bottle to a body of water and filling it up from the crafting table. Or well, not the crafting table, from the crafting menu. So to start off we're going to build the archery potion. The archery potion is made from a day bloom and a lens. As seen the day bloom can be harvested from a forest and the lens from are uh, the demon eyes. This increases your archery damage by 15%. The next potion is the battle potion. The battle potion increases the enemy spawn rate and is made from deathweed and rotten chunks. Rotten chunks can be obtained in the corruption and the deathweed can be found on ebonstone. If you want seeds from it, you're going to have to harvest it during a blood moon. The next item is the featherfall potion. The featherfall potion is made from the daybloom, blink root, and the feather. So the blink root can be found anywhere underground and you can get seeds from it whenever it's glowing and the harpy, or the feathers can be obtained from the harpies which are found near the top of the world a thousand blocks away from spawn. So the feather fall potion will basically let you fall um, up or down at whatever speed you like. So as you can see here I can slow my speed and I can increase it. There we are, right down to pretty much just a stop there. Alright, the next potion is going to be the gills potion. So the gills potion is made from bottled water, water leaf, and coral. So water leaf can be harvested from the deserts, and if you want to get seeds from it, you actually need to submerge it in water, like I just did there. And coral can actually be obtained from uh, any of the oceans in the game by mining out the block underneath them or using a hammer. The Gills Potion will basically allow you to breathe underwater, however whenever you're not underwater you will start drowning, as you can see here. By running to water we can actually uh, get our breath back. As soon as we find a body of water that is. And there we go, as you can see the breath increases just in time. Alright, so the next potion is the Gravitation Potion, and that is made from Fire Blossom, Deathweed, Blinkroot, and Feather. Now, if you want to um, mine Fire Blossom, you'll actually have to go down to Hell, and it grows on Ash. Now, if you want to get seeds from it, the uh, Fire Blossom actually needs to be submerged in lava, or be right next to lava. Uh, the next thing we need is Deathweed, as I mentioned. It can be found in areas of corruption, and um, the Blinkroot, which can be found anywhere underground. And once again, the harpies just are uh, anywhere near the top of the world. Right, with all those, we can now craft our gravitation potion. Probably the funnest potion in the game, I've got to say. So just by pushing up and down, you can reverse gravity however you please. You can do it as much as you want for three minutes. So basically, they're just really, really good rocket boots. <laughs> Alright, the next potion is the Hunter Potion, and that is made from Daybloom, Blinkroot, and uh, Shark Fin. So once again, Daybloom can be harvested anywhere in a forest, and you'll get seeds as long as it's daytime. Blinkroot can be harvested anywhere underground, and you'll get seeds as long as it's glowing. And the Shark Fin is a very common drop from the sharks in the oceans at either side of the world. So basically, the Hunter's Potion just shows us the location of the enemies by highlighting them in green. It also does this to NPCs. The next potion is the Invisibility Potion. That's made from bottled water, blinkroot, and moon glow. And once again, blinkroot can be harvested anywhere underground and you'll get seeds as long as it's glowing, and moon glow anywhere in a, um, in a jungle, and you'll get seeds as long as it's night time. So basically, the Invisibility Potion allows you to go invisible, but this is not to mobs, this is only to other players, so it will be useful for PvP, but I could see it being more annoying than anything. The next potion is the Iron Skin Potion. Now the Iron Skin Potion is made from one day bloom and one iron ore. Now the Iron Skin Potion increases your defense by 8, however there's a bug in the game currently and it actually increases your defense by 10. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. So we go from 23 defense here to 33 there. 
Alright, the next potion is the Magic Power Potion, and that can be crafted from Bottled Water, Moon Glow, Deathweed, and Fallen Stars. So once again, the Moon Glow can be found anywhere in the jungle, and you will get seeds as long as it's nighttime and it's glowing. Deathweed from areas of corruption, and you'll only get the seeds in Blood Moon, and the Fallen Star just anywhere at night. So uh, the Magic Power Potion increases magic damage by 20% for 2 minutes, so it's very good for the casters. The next potion is the Mana Regeneration Potion, and that is made from Moon Glow, Day Bloom, and Fallen Stars. So the Moon Glow, once again, anywhere in the jungle, Day Bloom, anywhere in the forest, and Fallen Stars, anywhere at night time. So this increases your Mana Regeneration by a given amount for 2 minutes. I'm not actually sure what the amount is though. The next potion is the Nightale Potion, and that is made from Bottled Water, Day Bloom, and Blink Root. So once again, the Day Bloom can be found anywhere in forests, and the Blink Root anywhere underground. Um, so, the Nightale Potion gives you increased night vision, however, I did not notice any difference, but it gives it to you for 10 minutes. The next potion is the Obsidian Skin Potion, and this can be made from one bottle of water, one fire blossom, water leaf, and an obsidian. This is probably the most useful potion in the game, as it provides you with immunity to lava. So once again, to get the water leaf, you'll need to submerge it in water if you want the seeds, and it can be found in the desert. Um, the obsidian can just be found by uh, crafting, well, by putting water on top of lava, and the fire blossom can be obtained by... Uh, basically submerging in a lava and that will get you the seeds too. So this grants you 3 minutes of lava immunity. So as you can see here, it just treats the lava like water now, as you do have a breath rate that will decrease at the same rate. The next potion is the Regeneration Potion, and that can be made from one bottled water, a day bloom, and a mushroom. So once again, day blooms and mushrooms can both be found in any area of forest, and it gives you two minutes of health regeneration, which is pretty fast, by the way. The next potion is the Shine Potion, and that is made from Day Bloom and Glowing Mushrooms. So once again, the Day Bloom can be found anywhere in the forests, and Glowing Mushrooms can be found underground, and can be seen growing on mud. So the Shine Potion basically emits an aura of light around the player, which you can't really see here because it's daytime, but it does work. The next potion is the Spelunker Potion, which is made from one bottled water, a Blink Root, Moon Glow, and Gold Ore. So again, the Blink Root is found anywhere underground or anywhere there's dirt. Uh, the Moon Glow is found in the uh, jungle, and as long as it's nighttime, you get seed seeds, and the gold can just be found anywhere. So this shows the location of ores and treasure. So as you can see, it's highlighting both the ores and the... Uh, uh, the clay pots, whatever they're called. <laughs> the next potion is the Swiftness Potion, and that's made from Blink Root and Cactus. So the Cactus can be found very commonly in any area of desert, and they do grow back really fast, so use these as much as you want, and they will increase your movement speed by 25%. Another really useful potion, and it's really good to actually stack it with the uh, Necro Armor. The next potion is the Thorns Potion, and this can be made from Deathweed and Cactus, so ba oh, and Bottled Water. So once again, the Deathweed can be found anywhere in the areas of Corruption, and as long as it's a Blood Moon, you will get Seeds, and the Cactus in the Desert. So this means attackers take damage of 2, and if they have more than 1 armor, or 1 or more armor, they will only take damage of 1. So as you can see here, I'm going to take out a Blue Slime, which actually took quite a while. But slowly but surely, we knock him down. And you know, one damage is better than nothing. Alright, so there we go, he should be dead about now. The next potion is the Water Walking Potion, and this is the last potion. It can be made from Bottled Water, Water Leaf, and Shark Fin. So Water Leaf can be harvested from the deserts, and if they're submerged in water, they will give you seeds. And the Shark Fins are, can be found 
in either ends of the world in the ocean and this basically allows players to walk on water. If you want to submerge yourself just push down. Hope this video helped, if it did please feel free to comment, like and subscribe, it took me about 3 hours to make so it would really mean a lot. You can also check me out on Facebook and Twitter, enjoy!